Hi everybody, so here is another Clever Fingers activity and all you're going to need again is paper and scissors and this is just a little bit of an extension from the snipping scissors activity that we did before. So you can use a pen, a felt pen, any colour or you can use a pencil, I've got a pen today and all I'm going to do is have a go at making a round shape it doesn't have to be an oval it can be a circle it can be a wibbly wobbly shape like that and so i'm getting getting my scissors again maybe if you're left-handed hold them like that if you're right-handed hold them like this and then get your paper and what we don't want to be doing is holding the scissors like this and upside down you want to be holding them so that they're going towards the line and you slowly cut a little bit at a time staying on the lines and you see i'm moving my paper as well at the same time so that i can turn the paper around as i'm cutting so i'm using my muscles in both hands both sets of fingers and hands and arms and i'm trying to stay on the line so that when I've cut it all out, I will get a round shape. So that could be an oval or a circle, or oh, it could be like this. This is just a squidgy, squidgy, widgy shape that I've drawn, and it doesn't have to be anything at all. It can just be any round shape that you draw with any colour felt pen and you try and stay on the lines and I know that's really tough that's a real challenge for you but you'll be able to do this if you practice and practice and practice and practice and I'm just going to show you one more thing as well look you can use a different coloured pen that's my pink highlighter or you could use a gel pen and I'm doing exactly the same round and round and round all the way round round and round round oh it's tricky this even for me so you could have a go do it slowly take your time and you'll be really pleased with the shapes that you've made. Look what I've made. I've made a squidgy puddle shape and a blobby shape and a oval round shape. Okay.